All right. Heading in here. We got 420 Peach It versus E King. We tried to go skating. And uh, we've been seeing the E King's Rob do a couple great things, including this. Wow, what a nice 0 to 70 percent here. Already completely exploiting uh, his every attempt that Peach makes to make it back. Almost, almost. But we saw 420 Peach try to get milk as much percent as he could off the top of that umbrella. But not going down without a fight, already making a 70% comeback here. Actually getting the first stop. Wow. That was good patience by Peach in knowing when to knowing when to recognize my character is vulnerable trying to recover horizontally. So I got away from my for my for my opportunity. And he was able to find it there. And that's gonna be the main problem that Rob is gonna have in the game in general. He's this disadvantage after this event being heavy and all. It's going to be very easy for um, Peach to actually punish accordingly. Uh, it's going to be very important as well for E King. Right, close out this stock without taking that much damage, but we do see that combination from Peach's King do and rack up a heck ton of damage. Oh, and this wow. takes away that stock with a beautiful, a beautiful fair. Tama, where you at? Actually, we're gonna go for the recovery. A gyro is the laser is gonna set up the edge guard situation, but it's not quite gonna get there. And E King is having so much trouble go. taking away that stock. He just one, two, three, four for 47. Look at that. But after that explosive opening, okay, and unfortunately, like SD there, but after that explosive opening from E King, this is definitely not what I was expecting to see. Uh, but 20 you running away with it, really. maintaining full control so far just letting the gyro play this is what you should do against rob as well make sure that the gyro is constantly in place so he cannot use it make sure that he grabs it there we go try tries to toss this in and if you are adept at using projectiles make sure to use it back if not i always like to tell people just toss it upwards toss it upwards it just keeps on um Staying in, in place, and that way he can, is not able to use it. If you're not comfortable with actually um, juggling projectiles. That's fair enough, yeah. Sometimes that's, that may be the best option. He's really, really trying to find the stock here somehow. He's already got 132% on him. I'd be almost taking that, so I'm not quite gonna do so. Peachhead really going for that vegetable, trying to get something else going, 144%. And the crown toss, the crown smack, and he actually pulls out the Mr. Saturn at the end. As the winning prize, Peach takes the first game. Now, my apologies, folks. I did say that it was Jose Bam versus Ikin, but um, Ikin beat Jose Bam 2-0. That's why Peachhead and Jose Bam, um, Peachhead and Ikin are actually playing right now. So... Good stuff by Peach. It. See what's gonna happen and what is the adaptation for game number two? I'm just uh, uh, amazed at how fast this one is. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh, going in here to game two, right off the bat, we see already in control left in the second piece of the match. Downer is just making sure to get E King um, just constantly using the, the upbeat action to try to recover. And just to get home, trying to go for a combo. And just 54, not bad at all. Back air, gonna hit. Another edge guard with the vegetable, but just um, tries to shark him a little bit, but E King goes in high, just high enough to make sure he does not get punished. Now, look how he's using the vegetables every single time. Just to make sure he's good at harassing. Arrow's gonna come down. But as soon as he can tries to recover, tries to grab the ledge, Peach is just on there, just hitting him. One right after the other. Gonna go up in a good directional air that's actually come back 172 percent um even though peach does look like it's a favorable um situation for them right now this could be dangerous for peach if he loses his stock first Getting close to the percent. 
Gonna go. What's it gonna be? And gotta go for the up air. And beautiful. That was great DI by Beach to not make sure to not get hit by that. And a fair is going to be able to do enough. And Eking actually amped up the defense on this one. And let's see if it's going to be enough to actually make sure to not lose this stock as soon as possible. He can rack up some extra credit. Mentioning earlier how important it was to take the shot. And the percent, the percent deficit is tiny, but it, it's it really goes to show like how hard it was for people to find the kill. Throw out the gyro. Turn are gonna come down in there. Now it's Eking's turn to actually try to shark the Peach a little bit, but not quite gonna be able to get some more damage other than the one. Gyro is gonna go down. Down air into Crown Smack. And then air. Pretty much even this game around. I go like. And throw out those vegetables again and, and it's such a precarious situation for Eking another crown smack and this could be Eking's last stock of the tournament I'm getting 2% um, His defense has been good enough to close the stocks as soon as possible and see if it can be enough to actually make sure to um, Take this stock as soon as possible as well Finding these openings like the way he has them. Beach is just maintaining the control and just using those turnips so well as well. Back throw. Tomahawk grab. He's clean. He's got the Mr. Saturn up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Second Mr. Saturn in this set. Go for the turnips again, but now it's Eki's turn to throw out some gyros. It looks like he wanted to get the turnip himself and he's gonna go for the tombstone. Not gonna do it. Beautiful the eye by Peach. Dash attack to send. The rock on the outside. The forward smash was gonna come out, but actually eats a back air. Not quite able to get it there. And now 180%. How much anything will kill at the same time as 200%? That was a stitch. <laughs> Lady Luck on Beach's side right now. Back air gonna hit him. Let's see if he can, can actually make this comeback. It's possible, but it's gonna be great. He's gonna have to play perfectly. I got hit by first straight hit. He's gonna be using the platforms to move around. Okay. So a fair to 41. Setting up the edge guard situation. Gonna go run with a back throw. Fair. Not gonna hit. Air on the outside. Ooh, gonna get him down nice smash, down 76%. Smash. Lots of momentum here. So you're gonna go for the forward smash on the ledge. Actually, up tilt, the single up tilt onto the grab. Unfortunately, not quite able to get that grab. And it takes it 2-0. I agree, Tama. I agree.